Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scriptcase Macros course. My name is Nate Carpenter and today we're looking at the SC Field Display Macro. So let's go ahead and look at what this macro does. So this macro allows you to turn a field's display on or off depending on what you want to do. So you can set some conditions or just turn it on and off. So let's go ahead and look at the documentation for this now. And let me get out of this and go over to the documentation, the script case documentation. Here it is. So all you need to do is pass through the field you want to turn on and off and then pass through on or off uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, so here's some examples here of turning it off based on some certain conditions. And we're going to use actually this here in our script case application. So let me copy this example here and we're going to take it over to this form here. So I have a form set up. Let me go ahead and run this so you can see how it works. So I have a few fields here, uh, rental date. Um, so this is for a rental. So this is when the rental's taken out, the rental date, and then the return date. Uh, this is what happens when it comes back. And we have a field here for some comments. So this, um, these two fields here are gonna be turned off and on depending on when it's needed. So on an insert, we're gonna need the rental date. That's when the rental is created. But then on an update, we don't need the rental date. So let's go over here. There's those fields right there. Let's go to events. And let's go to onload. So this is when the record is loading. And copy in that code right there. And then we just need to pass through our field date. So rental date is going to be the one uh, that we're going to be checking. We're going to check if rental date is empty here. So that's going to be our if condition here. So if it's not empty, that means that we're on an update condition. If it's not empty. And so then we can turn it off and turn the others on. So rental date, as long as it's not empty, then we can turn it off. So this is on an update condition right here. So that field needs to be off and those two need to be on. So let, let me copy that field name here and we're going to turn it off just like so. And then I need to duplicate these lines and turn uh, the return date and return condition comments on. So make sure they're on in case they were turned off before. So this is just kind of a check to make sure that they're turned on here. And let me copy that and then let me change this to return comments. So return date and return comments and those both need to be on. So now we've got the update condition set. Now we need to set up the insert condition. So I'm going to copy this and put it in the else. So this block of code is going to get executed if we're on an insert, which means rental, rental date needs to be turned on. And then return date and return comments here um, need to be turned off so that we don't see them. So I'm going to change the ons to off for those. And then we should be set up here. Let me make sure I spelled all the fields correctly here. I put some extra ends in here. So let me make sure I spell those correctly here. And this should work. So let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so the first screen looks okay. This is an update condition. So the rental date is turned off. Let me click add new. And this time we only have rental date and not any of the return fields. So that's how you use SE Field Display to turn fields on and off. 